Hello, I am Rafe Bucket Watch, and you are about to watch Bucket Gaming. I named my gaming channel after a terrible pun. I regret nothing! Hmm. Not much room to work with here. It's a short walk for the orcs from the gate to the rift. But, those acid pits will come in handy. Alright, so here we are. This is the next level. The back and orcs must die. I haven't made videos for a couple of weeks because I'm terrible at this, clearly. Uh, let's see, so just acquired the wind belt, so I'm definitely having that. One, two, three, four, eight, ten other things available, just let me roll my dice quickly, six, ten, four, and one, one, four, six, and ten, shock zappers, I'm not really going to be useful. Arrows and burners, they'll be fine. Uh, actually, actually, I think there is a low enough ceiling that I can use these. Yes, right here. So, yeah, maybe. Uh, Hang on a minute, I want to... Okay, I, I thought I was lagging a bit more than normal. But Just for it seems you. to be alright. Yeah, I'm just going to get these arrows in first. Uh, the wind belt. Because it's very handy that the wind belt you acquire here, because it's very useful here because of the acid pits. Because you just use it to throw the orcs in. So, you know, until you run out of it, mana. you can just have a lot of fun with this. Particularly if you can sort of persuade the orcs to group up by running around appropriately. Uh, it also comes in kind of handy for just forcing them backwards. So you know, if they get past your traps, you just kind of go, um, no, no, get back in the traps. Uh, come around the other side. This is... Oh. Oh, I, I keep... I keep forgetting which thing is on which button, but yeah, um, I mean, with this particular level you really want to stop them at this choke point, because, well, you only have to, here it's only one choke point, they're only coming in one way, whereas Of course, once they get past it, it divides into two pathways, and obviously, sometimes they'll be going the other way, and you can miss them, as with that one guy that I let through just there. You do not get to go past the traps. Die. I hate crossbow orcs. They're the worst. I may have already said that in a previous video. I don't remember. Die. 
get back in the traps. Get in the acid. Get in the acid. Right. Uh, put in another burner. See, because usually I'd have tar traps. Like, if I'd actually chosen my traps, I would have tar traps and they'd be in here so that everything would have to slow down once it got there, but... Oh, I've randomized this to make it more interesting, so... Uh, acid bar. Acid bards for all. Just line up. Um, yeah, if you're playing the game more seriously and actually choosing your traps, things like these acid pits are something you always kind of want to take note of when you're choosing your traps. Because the wind belt can be incredibly useful, but obviously it's limited. It doesn't do damage at all. It only knocks things back. So it's only really useful if there's something that you can knock them back into. A treat for you. Let's set these up. Yeah, I think these will actually work for once. Um, and then I'll save up more floor burners probably. Um, yeah, actually I'll, I'll, I'll try out the the secondary fire on. Yeah, that that's the secondary fire on the wind belt. I've never really understood the point of it. Uh, I don't know, I, I suppose, like, if you, if, if something's got past you and you want to quickly slow them down, because it looks like they basically can't move while they're, while you've got them picked up like that. But in general, I feel it would be of more use to just knock back the groups like this. Uh, but yes, um, if taking the game more seriously, things to consider about each level, it's always the terrain features. Uh, sometimes there will be kind of like inbuilt traps, and of course sometimes there will be things like acid pits, and of course choke points. Highly relevant. It really annoys me. Sometimes they don't die as quickly as they should when you knock them into acid like that. I'm pretty sure like. On at least one occasion, I've actually missed a part time on a level because of orcs falling into either acid or lava and not dying. So, yeah, that's very annoying because, in theory, it, it's obviously a very efficient way of dealing with them, but. In practice, you can have these problems, and this is why I hate crossbow orcs. I'm just going to run back to the rift to heal. Fortunately, I have enough traps by this point that I can pretty much depend on the fact that nothing will get past while I'm back there healing. And I guess this will be my final trap setup. It's, it's actually not that bad. 
Um, I mean, you know, because I was saying before about uh, how usually I'd have tar traps, and of course I will sort of stand by that, but of course, in this instance I don't have tar traps, but I've sort of traded off the tar for more things that actually kill the orcs. So, you know, there, there's potential value in that. It's it, it gives you more problems early on because you won't have the killer traps set up. So it's more useful to have the tar traps to keep them in your little kill zone for longer. But oh, switch weapons. Um, but once you get to this sort of stage, it it can be pretty much like anything that walks in here is just gonna die. And you know, there are enough traps that, despite the large numbers of the orcs, like th there will always be enough traps left to kill them. On top of obviously me shooting them and hitting them with my blade stuff and so on. So, oh, only three skulls. I guess I missed the par time by 46 seconds. Yeah. But it, it works, whatever. Um, onward. <laughs>